My First Book of Birds, illustrated by Zoe Ingram. Birds in Your World This book contains 20 of the birds that you're most likely to see when you're out and about. They're arranged in size order to help you identify them and there is lots of information about each type of bird, how big they are, what they like to eat, where they live and how many eggs they usually have. The changing numbers of bird populations reflect the state of our environment and are carefully monitored by the UK's bird conservation organisations. All types of birds are given a conservation status to show if they are under threat. Red means that urgent action is needed to protect that species. Amber is the next most critical group and green means that these birds are of the least concern. You'll probably see different birds at different times of the year, but you can encourage them into your area all year round with a few treats, especially in winter when there is less food around. Different birds like to eat different things and you can buy all kinds of mixes of bird food. Try a few types to see what's popular where you live. Put up a bird table or hang feeders from a tree or a hook. You might like to thread peanuts in their shells onto string or hang up fat balls. Remember to wash out your bird feeder regularly to prevent the spread of infection. Birds are all around us. Keep an eye out of your window, go for a walk in your local park and see how many you can spot. Wren. The wren weighs less than a pencil and can be hard to spot as they like to stay close to the ground. Look out for their short brown tail that sticks right up in the air. The male birds build nests in nooks and crannies and then the female birds line them with feathers. Did you know, for such a small bird, the wren has an incredibly loud song? Coal tit. The coal tit has black and white stripes on its head just like a badger. They are quite timid birds and have developed a habit of stashing their food away from other birds in nearby bushes so that they can eat it later. Did you know the coal tit particularly likes evergreen trees and has a pointed beak to help it pick seeds out of pine cones? The blue tit. These cheerful looking birds are colourful and easy to spot. They lay their eggs in holes in trees or nest boxes if there is one nearby. They are very common in gardens and rarely fly more than 20 kilometres from where they hatch. Did you know Blue tits often hang upside down to eat. Goldfinch. The goldfinch is one of the most colourful garden birds with its bright red face and yellow wing stripes. It has a cheerful musical song and was a popular pet in Victorian times. During the winter, UK goldfinches can travel as far as Spain in search of warmer weather. Did you know a group of goldfinches is called a charm? Robin. Robins are unmistakable with their bright red breast feathers, which they puff up in winter to help them stay warm. They have a beautiful song and are one of the earliest birds in the dawn chorus. Robins are most often thought of at Christmas. Did you know robins are very protective and will fight fiercely to stop other robins coming close to their nests? Great tit. Great tits are more likely to eat their food from the ground than other tits. They often build their nests in tree holes, but are very happy to use nest boxes too. They are particularly loud singers and can have lots of different songs. Did you know great tits have been known to catch lizards? Long-tailed tit. The long-tailed tit lives up to its name with a tail that is longer than its body, which makes it easy to spot. They are fluffy little birds and live in chatty groups of up to 20. Did you know long-tailed tits build bottle-shaped nests which they line with up to 1,500 feathers? House Sparrow Sparrows are one of the most common garden birds and the great garden scavengers, eating almost anything left out for them. They are small brown birds that live in friendly groups, usually near humans. Did you know, although sparrows are very common, their numbers are declining at an alarming rate and have halved in the last 50 years. 
Dunnock. Dunnocks are one of the quietest birds in the garden and one of the most common. They are shy brown birds that are often mistaken for small sparrows. They move jerkily on the ground and often flick their wings and tails. Did you know cuckoos prefer to lay their eggs in dunnock nests? Chaffinch. The male chaffinch has a pinkish orange chest and face. They have a simple, easily recognisable song that is different depending on where they live, a bit like human accents. Chaffinch numbers increase in winter as more birds arrive from colder countries. Did you know female finches travel further south for the winter than males? Starling. Starlings have beautiful glossy black feathers that have a purple green shimmer. They are brash, bold birds that live in large groups and like to make a lot of noise. They are also very good at copying other birds' calls. Did you know a murmuration is when thousands of starlings all fly in unison? It is amazing to see. Great Spotted Woodpecker Great spotted woodpeckers drum their beaks against tree trunks to attract a mate. They use their long straight beaks to chisel a hole into the trunk and then they make their nest in it. Both parents look after the eggs. Did you know woodpeckers have incredibly long tongues? Blackbird. The blackbird has a beautiful song which they sing from January to July. They particularly like to sing after rain. You can easily recognise a blackbird by its bright yellow beak and the matching ring around its eyes. Did you know the female blackbird is actually brown? Black-headed gull. The most common inland gull, this bird's feathers change colour throughout the year, which can make it hard to spot. In winter, there are nearly 10 times more of them in the UK. Its black head feathers are actually dark chocolate brown. Did you know, for some of the year, their head feathers are white? Sparrowhawk. The sparrowhawk is the bird of prey you are most likely to see. They often reuse the same nesting area and usually keep the same mate. They can fly very fast and will dash from the cover of a hedge or bush to surprise and catch their prey. Did you know, like most birds of prey, the female sparrowhawk is larger than the male? Collared Dove. The collared dove is an elegant pale brown grey bird with a distinctive black collar and a familiar cuckoo coo call. They arrived in Great Britain in the 1950s and have been known to travel over 600 kilometres in a lifetime. Did you know collared doves can use their beaks as a straw to suck up water? Most birds have to fill their beaks then tip their heads back to drink. Feral Pigeon. This urban pigeon can have feathers in all shades of black, white and grey. They usually have an iridescent patch of purple and turquoise on their breasts and they always have red eyes. They are very friendly and live in big flocks. They can fly incredibly quickly. Did you know during World War I and World War II, pigeons were used to carry important messages? 32 pigeons were awarded the Dickon Medal for their bravery. Jackdaw. The jackdaw is the smallest member of the crow family. It has a dark grey patch on the back of its neck and striking white eyes. They live in large groups, usually mates for life and are named after their loud, friendly chack call. Did you know jackdaws are very clever? A tame jackdaw was once trained to steal money from a cash machine. Wood pigeon. This is the largest pigeon and the one that you're most likely to see in gardens and parks. They are mostly grey with a white patch on their neck. The wood pigeon has a lovely coo call and can be quite tame in towns and cities. They like to sit in trees but their wings make a lot of noise when they take flight. Did you know a baby pigeon is called a squab? Magpie. The black feathers on this unmistakable bird have a beautiful purple green sheen. Magpies often live in large groups and build distinctive domed nests out of sticks to protect their eggs from crows. They rarely move more than 10 kilometres from where they hatch. 
Did you know magpies have a reputation for stealing shiny things? It's completely untrue. <laughs>